Good morning and welcome. Well, this is about trying to um, correct a really bad paw that I ended up um, scraping. Well, sort of, I didn't scrape. I actually um, spatulaed the paint all over the canvas. And so I'm just trying now to just make something of it. And so that's what you can absolutely do. But it's obviously better if you're going to do that to do it while the paint's wet because that bottom coat of paint that I've sort of spread around acts as your um, base coat. So what I'm pouring on here is some absolutely bright, uplifting colours. There is the orange, there is yellow, and there is a really nice bright red. And of course, loads and loads of white that will um, just make this help, help the rest of the colours pop. So let's see what um, comes out of this, a nice big tilt. So now I'm going to try this giant size marble. But I soon get to realize that I probably should have done the marble around the canvas before I tilted because as you see, it's just like a snowball collecting <laughs> the paint and it doesn't turn out, um, it's not really doing anything. So I abandon that idea, but you have to try. So I at least tried the marbling thingy. I will try again uh, before I tilt this time on the next time on a really paint covered canvas. So what I'm doing now is I've put the Amsterdam Black and Aussie Floetrol. I'm doing a swipe. Let's see what we get. Oh, looky, look at all those cells. We have those gorgeous cells appearing. They're really kind of lacy, lacy loveliness. And when I bring you down closer, you'll see the just absolutely stunning effect that that has given. And using the black to swipe with has really, ma really made them stand out. And um, and they just look beautiful. So it was definitely worth doing this. I have no um, qualms about it. So I will head to the other side now and see what lovely result we get from this. So on to the next stage and I'm going to do some puddles, puddle pouring over that centre black swipe and I'm hopefully going to create a lovely botanical effect and it will look hopefully quite 3D because of that background of those floating cells. 
So let's have some fun here and pour some more bright colours. As you see, I have got the bright yellow, that is the uh, bright red, and I think I'm going to pour some orange, black, and all yummy goodness, and of course some white. The white and black that I'm pouring into this one is mixed with Floetrol only, and the Floetrol helps in this, well, really does give the lacy cell creation. So it's going to end up a, um, a pseudo blue. That is a cyan blue I'm pouring in there. Okie doke, I've poured all those yummy colours and I have put lots of paint on there um, and I've just whizzed over with my heat wand to burst any air bubbles and now it's my teeny tiny little um, travel blow dryer that's doing the job now of creating some pseudo bloom effects. So as I said, I'm trying to create this 3D effect of a bloom. So let's see how we go from here. Now I've got a skewer and I'm going to kind of do some stems and hopefully, hopefully create a, um, so it kind of, yeah, looks like a stem floating down and hopefully um, it does what I intended it to do to look like a 3D effect bloom but it's very pretty and bright and I'm loving it there you go turn it around look at that lovely colorfulness on that really uh, different background again for a bloom it's always nice trying different things for your background instead of doing same old same old try anything a swipe a blowout if you've seen I've done swipes and blowouts and all sorts of things Late at night in a room lit by the TV light. 